I've been looking into something for a very long time. And it's the secret key to you appearing on the cover of Forbes. It's gonna unlock an unbelievable amount of generational wealth that you and your kids will be able to use for the rest of your life. So I'm gonna talk tonight about our money. Which is incredible, that at 11 years old, you were buying your first stock. Well, I would've bought it sooner, but I didn't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> and they just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. Video, let me explain how the same secret was used in my life and how it's probably in your life as well. Like some of you, it feels like you're stuck in between sections of your life, right? For me, it felt like I was stuck in one section of my life and I was trying to transition into the next, but there was something stopping me. And the billionaire mindset illustrates this perfectly. One of the toughest experiences that I've ever gone through was when I was 18. This was moving from South Africa all the way to the US. I was forced into leaving my entire culture, all my friends, and all my family behind. And for months, I struggled and struggled to get my mind out of me living there and focusing on what I have here in the US. Moving felt like everything that I went through had never been real. And I, it's so hard for me to explain it to someone who doesn't understand it, but if you have the same feeling that you're alone, which I had for months, I felt like I was alone and nothing positive was coming into my life. But one thing that going through something extremely hard like this teaches you is you need to face your problems head on. You need to face your problems in the face. I struggled with moving on but once I did move on, I saw my life turn around. Through dark times, persistence is the key that's gonna get you out of any situation. It's the thing that pulled me out of my situation, and it's the thing that might pull you out of your situation. I'm wondering what would be the single most valuable piece of advice you'd give us to even attempt to create some of the value that you guys have done in both your very impressive companies. People say, you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing. And it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere when, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit because they're sane. There's a reason why you're watching this video. You want to figure out how these billionaires think, move. You want to understand exactly how to become something similar. And persistence, persistence is the thing that's going to get you to where you want to be. Persistence is what other billionaires use to achieve everything that they set out and achieve. And you can even see this in Elon Musk. He's the first person that I want us to go ahead and look at and take a deep dive into what they're doing. Elon Musk has faced challenges that most of us would never even think about. He's the brain behind Tesla and he's probably faced so many problems that we won't even be able to understand. But what he went through, almost losing those companies is even crazier. I mean, he almost ran out of money trying to send rockets into space. His rockets were blowing up before they even had a chance to reach the stars. I mean, can you only imagine the pressure of building something for months and years to have it all blow up right in front of you? Elon, after every single setback, he picked himself right back up, dusted himself off, and got back to work. where that has landed him today. He's 
single-handedly the only man that can take the human race to outer space. He has multiple, multi-billion dollar companies that are looked at as the pinnacle of success in, in each of their own industries. The key that Elon illustrates, the key that Elon shows us is persistence. The same thing that I was trying to show you in my story. The reason why I'm here making even a video is because of persistence. The reason why Elon is where Elon's at is because of persistence. I also like to look at Steve Jobs. He's the legendary man behind Apple. Sadly, he isn't here with us anymore, but you can still see how his products transformed our entire lives. I can almost guarantee 50% of you watching right now are probably watching my video off of an iPhone. And that's all because of Steve Jobs. That is absolutely monumental, considering the fact that he's no longer alive. Jobs just didn't create gadgets, he revolutionized actual industries. Imagine the pressure of introducing products like the iPhone and the MacBook back in 2006. The kinds of looks that people would be giving you, like, bro, this is crazy, I don't see this happening. Or, yo, this is crazy, you're a genius. The mixed emotions is one thing, but the negativity that he faced was definitely real. Back in 2006, buttons on a phone were still normal. Going and removing just buttons was like, bro, how am I supposed to use this if the buttons aren't there, the keyboard isn't there, I need to be able to use it. And Steve Jobs faced so much backlash in, in how he managed his company. What, what does it mean when you tell someone they're working shit? Uh, it usually means their work is shit. Sometimes it means I think your work is shit and I, I'm wrong, <laughs> but uh, uh, usually it means their, their work is not anywhere near good enough. We have this great quote from Bill Atkinson who says, when you say his, get someone's work is shit, you really mean, I don't quite understand it, would you please explain it to me? <laughs> no, that's not usually what I meant. Uh, he faced criticism on how he developed the products, and then he still faced criticism on the actual product development. You know, you can please some of the people some of the time. In the resilience, he kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And guess what? Everyone has an iPhone. Everyone. Not everyone, but most people have an iPhone. <laughs> he kept pushing, even when he had challenges, he kept pushing once he completed his first goal, he kept pushing. Then he went on to the next goal. And he went on to the next and the next and the next and the next. And that's absolutely insane. Now let's go and talk about Jeff Bezos, the visionary behind Amazon. I, I don't think this is everyone's favorite billionaire. His empire has redefined manufacturing. Amazon's success is based off of three things. His ability to satisfy customers, fast shipping, and to have an unbelievable amount of product selection. Those three things together are really hard. <laughs> you know, if you've ever tried e-com or you've ever tried dropshipping, you know getting those three things together at the same time is hard. But if you can do all three things, you have a winner on your hands. And that's what Amazon was from the start. He introduced this entire model. It's about crafting unparalleled customer experiences. And where did this all start? Where did this legendary Amazon idea come from? One simple idea. An online bookstore. And he's transformed it into the leading online consumers slash customers based website. Regardless of your situation, the billionaire mindset is based off of your ability to have persistence, your ability to keep going. Jeff Bezos definitely had problems setting up Amazon. Steve Jobs, multiple problems before and after releasing the iPhone. And Elon Musk facing a hurdle so big that no one else had even the ability to do. If you want to take a page 
a page out of their book. You need to realize that persistence is the first key to becoming successful. Regardless of your situation, if you aspire or you want to be successful, persistence needs to become your best friend. Now that we've looked at a few billionaires, I wanna be real with you for a minute. You've made it this far in the video and that means a lot to me. I'm not here to sell you a dream and I'm not here to sell you a course. All I wanna do is just have an honest conversation. But I want you to pause for a second and I want you to think about where you are in life right now. There are definitely problems that you have in your life and problems that you probably wanna get over, right? But at the same time, you also have goals that you're trying to go out and achieve, right? And they're both there. They're both in two different spaces. If you felt anything like me, you felt like you were stuck in between these two zones. I want to be in these goals and I want to achieve these goals, but it kind of feels like these problems are stopping these goals, right? What if I told you the key to unlocking these goals and these dreams is obviously the persistence, but also something that you have inside of you, something that you already are. Success, the billionaire mindset, whatever you want to call it, is a grind. And you need to lock in. When you do that, when you turn your goals into your dreams, you will become the person you were meant to be. You see the billionaires that we've been looking at. At some point in time, every single one of them, every single one of them, were just like you and me. I mean, if, 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 if other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that you, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. No, this is not supposed to be some filtered, inspirational speech. Oh, you gotta grind, work hard, grind, 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 grind. It's not, that's not the speech. What I'm trying to tell you is, they're, they're, like, it's in front of you. The keys to success is all in front of you. It's like it's right there. And I can see it, I know you can see it. Once you realize you see it, why don't you just reach out and grab it? Why don't you just go get it? What you need to realize is the key to success, the last key to success is within you. It's in you, it's in your mind. It's your mindset. That's the last key. The fact that you've been rolling with me is crazy, and I really do appreciate that. I hope you continue to watch the content and you continue to roll, because I have a massive bombshell that I want to go ahead and drop. And this thing that I'm about to say, it's not some theory, it's not some idea, it's strictly just action. And it's a challenge that I want us to dive in with together. For, for the past three years, I've been taking wins, losses, and anything in between. I've been deep in the trenches of day trading. And I think I have a better idea on how to do this efficiently. I just said I think. I don't know for sure, but I think. What I'm going to announce, and it's not a theory, it's actual action, is my zero to 10K a month day trading challenge. I want you to witness every single strategic move that I make in the next Year. The idea behind the challenge is to turn zero into $10,000 a month through day trading. But I don't want to do it like every other influencer. Oh, I made $10,000 a month. Oh, come buy my course. Like, I don't want to do that. I actually want to show you that it's possible because I believe it's possible. And through this video, through action and th not through theory, I want to prove to you that it's possible. So I will be uploading videos weekly on how my day trading is going, how my trading structure is going, how I'm trading, what I'm doing, anything that relates to day trading whatsoever. I will be making videos about that weekly on top of the videos that I'm doing right now. So if you enjoy these videos, subscribe because they're only gonna get better. So if you wanna see how much money I'm going to be making, please follow and I'll be showing you exactly what's in my account, exactly what kind of trades I'm going to be making. And if you want a more 
well-defined and well-in-depth video on how it's gonna work. I'm gonna be posting a video very shortly if it's not already up by the time you're watching this. I'm trying to build a community here of people that are actually serious about becoming successful. But that's the video. In a world filled with inspiration, it is never truly a goodbye, but rather, till I see you next time.